Hey guys, MD Graphics here. I've received a few questions from people on my other channel asking me what settings they should use when creating a new project in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the unexperienced user, this can be a little intimidating with all the options available. You might not know what your camera is set at to record. Is it 720p, 1080p, 50i, 60i, SD, HD, etc. So I'm going to show you guys a neat little trick that will automatically set your project file to the exact size and settings of the footage you imported. If you're planning on creating a certain project size, regardless of what your imported footage is, then this information here is not what you're looking for, as this will only set the project file or sequence according to the imported footage settings. So let's begin. To start, open up Adobe Premiere Pro. When you get to the welcome dialog, select new project. When the new project dialog opens, go ahead and set your project name and project file location. I'm just gonna name this sequence setup. Yeah, I'm just gonna save it right there. When you're done, click okay. Next, when the new sequence dialog box opens, this is where you are wondering, what do I select? There are so many options to choose from. Don't worry, all you need to do here is click on cancel. Yep, that's right, cancel. We're not gonna pick any of them. This just sets the initial sequence for you to start work in. If it makes you feel better, you can select any random old setting, but there's really no point as we will just delete it anyhow. So just go ahead and click cancel. Okay, great. Now Premiere Pro opens, but it looks awfully bare. There is nothing at all going on here, nothing at all. So let's go ahead and import the footage from your camera. I'm gonna just use a few clips here from some dogs I filmed from our rescue group. Once these files have imported, you notice you can't do anything with them. You can't drag them to the timeline or edit them. That's because there's no sequence as we skip that part. So here comes the magic. Take any one of the clips you just imported and drag it to the new item icon right here and watch what happens. I'm just gonna click this one and drag it to the new item icon. Bam! It took your footage and created a sequence based off the exact settings that your footage was created using. Now you can rename your sequence to whatever you please and delete a clip from the timeline if you do not need it. So this is my sequence. I'm just going to rename this. Name it as dog is dash. So I'll just name it dash main sequence. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you out. If it has, please like this video and subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section or send me a message. Till next time, see you later.